Started today by cannibalizing an old fender that I had for the hardware tuning knobs, uh, pickups, nut, bridge, and saddle. <clears throat> As most of these I didn't want to buy new, I also temporarily took the tuning knobs from it. And I used these because I'm making my neck on the same scale. <clears throat> so it was convenient and easy to use these and make a template for where they belonged. Next, I started shaping the neck. I took the neck right here and I attached it to a piece of plywood which I could then clamp to my table. I just used some CA glue in a couple spots. It's really convenient for attaching thin pieces and being able to clamp them down. I took a couple planes and I shaped it to the radius that the neck is supposed to have for the top of it and then took it mostly down to the thickness that I want it. Once it's on the guitar I'm really going to true it up and make sure that it's flat and exactly right when it's on the neck and I, I can make sure that I can do that when everything's together. Once it was done on the shaping and sanding here I was able to pop it off the piece of plywood fairly easily just with the end of my knife. As you can see here it comes off incredibly easy and this is a great way for clamping small pieces that you want to plane or shape but you don't really have an easy convenient way to clamp them and the glue cleans, cleans off the back of it with a couple swipes of a plane as well. Next I made a template for the position of the existing hardware on the old guitar. As I'm using the same hardware and the same scale for the neck I was just able to position all the hardware in the same place for the bridge saddle and pickups the bridge or the neck pickup i had to move into the body of the guitar a little bit because i made my neck a little bit longer uh, as well i had to move some of the tuning and volume knobs because i made my body a little bit smaller not a big deal and i'm not happy with where one of the volume knobs ended up but it's too late now and i wasn't really thinking about placement uh, i measured everything out from the end of the fretboard where the nut's going to be to where the holes for the bridge were existing on the guitar so i got those in the exact same place without having to do too much math or, or figuring anything out that's that's more difficult than that uh, i attached the templates to the guitar and then used an owl to punch the center of the holes for the saddle and the bridge and as well for the tuning pickups or sorry for the the tuning the tune knobs and the volume knobs <coughs> the tone knobs I then drilled all them out and I also marked out the location for the pickups just in red so I could see a rough outline as I was going to make a template and, and mark that out more precisely afterwards. Um, I made a second template for the volume and tone knobs which I ended up having to move them because my body was slightly different size than the original one. Uh, here's that second template and I added I used two of the holes for the saddle on it so I could line it up with the other holes on the other one so I drilled out everything with a brad point drill that was slightly smaller than what I needed and then used a larger drill that was the right size for the hardware that I was installing those are the two pins that the bridge sits on and there's the bridge and then I installed the two uh, nut certs that the saddle pulls into and I'm gonna pull these all out again and I'm actually going to epoxy these into their holes when uh, when I'm ready for everything to be permanent. I don't think I really need to as those came out of the original guitar without any sort of effort or force. I just pried them out and they came straight out. But I would like them to be more permanent and not be able to go anywhere on mine. So I drilled those out. I installed the bridge in the saddle and then I uh, temporarily installed a single string. just pulled across the uh, bridge and the uh, nut and I clamped it down just so I could see if everything was sort of lining up and if it was going to work out and I was actually pretty happy with how everything was going so far so I kept going and I believe next I started with the tuning knobs I also cannibalized those from the original guitar I've ordered more and I'll replace them after they arrive uh, here I am taking them out and there is a left and right hand side to these so I was sure to keep those separate and then I made a, a paper template of those and then transferred that to the headstock on the new guitar drilled those holes out and then attached the tuning knobs to the new guitar head stock once those were attached I had to uh, 
sorry, before I could attach those, I had to change the shape of the headstock a little bit because my template ended up a little wider there than what uh, I could use. But there they are installed, and I was able to put, I had one string that I had cut off the old guitar, and I was able to put it on and tension it and get a note out of it. So here I am making a template for the pickup. It's a double humbucker, and there's a neck and body pickup. Uh, and eventually I'll do a video on how to make uh, router templates and using router bushings to get you know, templates for whatever you need. I cut it out with my miter saw and uh, a jigsaw. And it really only took me maybe a minute or two to make this template, but it's incredibly accurate and I'm saving it in case I ever do another guitar that's got humbuckers in it because I'll be able to use it again. Um, once you've marked the center of this template, you can draw a center line down the whole guitar and then put this on it and you know that your pickup will be straight and center in the guitar and you just move it to where you want it on the guitar. And that's what I was really figuring out here. I used a string line to mark the center of the guitar. I marked the center of the template and then I laid it out having to move one of them further down from the neck because my neck was longer. And then I used hot glue to attach the template to the body. Once it sets, it's not going anywhere and you can use a router with a bushing and uh, I use a spiral upcut bit, a quarter inch just to cut the outside of the template and then afterwards I removed it with a chisel and a hammer just because I think it's fun to chisel stuff out. And then you pop the template off and hot glue it on to do the second one and again line it up with your center marks and where you're going to need it and there you can see that I got everything right where I wanted it. And then I just went to town with a hammer and chisel and broke out everything inside of those and I was able to fairly quickly install the two pickups. Next, once the pickups were laid out, I put the bridge and saddle back on the neck and the nut and one string just to make sure that they were aligned left and right with that one string and then I drilled and screwed them in so that they're affixed. Uh, Then I got to work on the volume and tone knobs and the pickup selector as well as the uh, plug-in jack for it. I made a template for the cutout on the back, the back side of the body and same thing uh, with some tape and hot glue I attached to the body and then with a router and a template bushing I went uh, about an inch and a half, inch and three quarters deep into the guitar and I really made a mistake of going at this with a hammer and a chisel. Not that I did damage to the guitar, it just took me way more energy and, and way longer than I wanted to to remove the, the bulk of that material and in the end I ended up going at it with a router anyways. But you can see here some shots of me going at this with a hammer and chisel and I, it was you know, I, I thought it was going to be a lot of fun, but removing that much material ended up being pretty tiring and my right shoulder hurt from uh, all the chiseling or all the hammering. I probably need to get a heavier mallet, which would help with that. In the end, I was a little bit too shallow with my cut, so I ended up going with a router and a flesh trim bit with a top bearing just to make it a little deeper so that everything would sit uh, far enough in it. And here you can see I've got the volume tone knobs and the pickup selector and jack attached and I'm putting the bridge and saddle back on just to get a final look at it. Hopefully tomorrow my hard, the truss rod and fret wire is going to show up so I can route that in and I can glue the neck on or sorry glue the fretboard on the neck and be pretty much done with this build aside from finishing it I'm going to pull the whole thing apart sand it spray it and then put it back together and uh, be done with it and hopefully play a song on it and see what you guys think. Thanks for watching.